thank you thank you for liking yeah all right all right good um whoa today is gonna be hi 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 good am uh, yeah, Mr. Yes, sir. Good. So you you've had the previous conversation, yeah? Yeah. What is one thing that you think can bring Africans together? I mean, Africans around the globe together. Wow. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. That the topic you have is <laughs> is a very tough topic. Um, I don't think it is just one thing. I think that it, it is multiple. Why do you think people like your videos so much? It's because you, you create a, the reality. You deal with a, a specific virus, which is Africa is poor, it's disease is backward. Then people start to see your video. That is the solution. That is one of the solutions. You know, your video. I watch your video from Kenya never been to Kenya, it changes my mind. It becomes a reality. You know, so Africa as we are, you went to school here. The school was designed so that we never like what we have. It raised the white man. The religion is also the same. The media, if you watch video, uh, if, you watch the vi if you watch video, movies, if it's coming from America and the West, usually white Focus movies. What role do they give to the blacks? Usually, they give the you know the minimal roles. And what image do they portray on Africa to them? It's the same. So there's there's a major something that we all have to deal with, which is the conditioning, the programming. We've been programmed not to look at ourselves as fortunate as blessed, and that's something that we all have to deal with. And your videos, the internet, the technology, they are bringing those. They are bringing those healings. I don't know how for how long. I mean, how many of us have had direct contact with African Americans, with Jamaicans? I don't know. Maybe just recent times. How many of us had access to telephones to talk to them? Maybe the best time is now, where we are using the YouTube, the WhatsApp, all these things to connect. So we have not had the opportunity to communicate. And so the bridge was intentional, it was systemic, it was designed, and we have not had much time to heal or to deal with that bridge. Now, what you're doing is part of it. You know, a lot of the times when you're, dealing, when you're talking to any diasporan, whether African-Americans or Jamaicans, those who are a bit more informed about the global African story, they're very uh, accommodating. So when, uh, let, for instance, when African-Americans complain that when, when Ghanaians come there, we deal with the white man, that's the program we've been giving. We only do what we know. You know, nobody, the mind is so powerful that if it's, program in a specific way or in a particular way, it becomes so difficult for it to be deprogrammed. And majority of our people, those of us from the continent, we don't even know that we've been programmed this way. You know, so we, we love it. If somebody comes from America to Ghana, you see all the, all the answers that they will give to us, all the examples that they will give to us. It's a program. Even, it is even very difficult for you to show good stories, for them to even focus on good stories. You know, when the first time I traveled, I never knew something like a you know, black man or, you know, I never understood racism. Anywhere I've been to, you see the black people are the ones that are more treated. That's the fact. Yeah. Why? It's because somebody, for instance, in China, why would China, Chinese man see an African and, and starts to disrespect the African? How did he learn that? It's not the, it's not the media. It's the media. It's a weapon against us. You know, so I think just as they use those weapons, the school, the religion, the media, we can also use the same, and business as well, trade and politics. It's, it's, it's big, but we can also use any of them uh, to correct the situation. And that's what you're doing. You, what you're doing is major, you know, the, the media, the media. How many radio stations that when you come to Ghana are talking about the stories that the Haitians went through or the Jamaicans went through? How many of us know the story of Jamaica or, or African-Americans? And it's, 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 you know, it's a sea of information we don't know. And how many of them uh, the diasporans, our brothers and sisters. How many of them also know our peculiar stories in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Togo, in Kenya? So a lot have been hidden from us. And until we start to be educated, it's very difficult. And that comes with the, uh, with the interaction. You know? So what you're doing is a major tool. And people trying to trade. 
there was a time I placed a call to a gentleman. He's an African American elder. Just as I called him, he said, Let me let me call you back. He called back, we talk about one hour. I believe the reason he was so and I was so much comfortable with him, as if he was my, my grandfather or my father. And it's because of the depth of knowledge he has. It's the depth of knowledge. And we all been programmed wrongly. So now we have to, you know, reprogram. And and to like ourselves just like the other uh, person. Uh, let, let, let me ask a question. You said we need yeah. to reprogram. How do we reprogram ourselves? How do we reprogram our minds? Like, how do and, we do? Okay, that's what your, what your video. How many people have been healed by your videos alone? Just showing the current Africa. It's a major healing. It's a reprogramming tool that you, you have. There are other people who are who are teaching the history, teaching the systems that have been used, giving us different information on technology, on on history, on education. But sometimes there was a time that you were talking, and Juliet uh, Blacksmith raised some serious points. That's somebody who is who has studied. Those are the, that's another form. People who have studied the topic and teaching us the current videos. People who are trading. Sometimes I have a gentleman I trade with. He's from Kenya. You know, we trade with. We, we, any time that we meet, we are talking. That's part of it. So there are avenues. So the, the programming, what you're doing, you have killed so many people. Not only the diasporans. There are so many Africans. I've sent your videos to so many people who watch them. And they said, no, I want to come back. You know, I want to come back. If these people are doing this, how many TV stations in Ghana will show the things that you show? The business people that who have built all these things. How many people will show? You never get to hear these stories. And therefore, if you don't hear these stories, we are in darkness. And once you are in darkness, anybody at all can control you. And that's what has happened. So the moment you break this knowledge, knowledge is light. These things that you are bringing is light. We are seeing. And that's that, for me, that's where, it, it, you know, there are politicians, you know, our leaders. Sometimes we blame them, but they only do what they know. And the, the kind of education you've been given is purely white education. We have the drumming and dancing and the tradition. But you can go to a village in Africa, a chief has his uh, gold, you know. The heaven is gold, but then some white man will come and he's the one to sink a uh, toilet for them. That's a chief who knows the tradition and the culture, but the global system which is run by the white institutions, the he probably has no clue what it is. And that's why when we travel, then we, 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 we become aware that ah, this is, they don't even think that we are human beings. We are the ones who believe we are human beings. The people who have lived with them know how they think. And sometimes even the white people have also been programmed to think like that. You know, so it's, it's all a messy situation. And I think the world is coming to a point where it's, 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 it's the light, you know, the light, the internet is a tool that we have to at least catch up with all the lies and to make a lot of corrections. And that's why people watch your videos and so happy and they hail you and they love you because you're bringing a, a light to all of us. You know? I, I, I think so many people in here don't know who you are. I personally read one of your books and um, I really loved it. Especially talking about, is it like I think the entrepreneurship? Um, yes. How um, in Africa, when when people start doing businesses, like you go to school to become like, like you look for a corporate job, and then mm. we leave entrepreneurship for people who have never went to school. I think yes. that book was good. So I don't know, maybe if you'll be able to tell them um, something about your book one minute so that people can. Oh, okay. Go to so I. All right, I, I am an author. My, my Facebook is Perspective, How to Develop the Mindset to Start and Build Your Own Business. Um, it's just about programming, the same. You go to school, they don't teach anything about business and innovation. They just tell you, you know, go just become a good engineer, a trainer as an engineer, first degree engineer, second degree engineering. It's the same. A rush to travel somewhere is the same. Uh, but to build something right from the ground with no skill, the processes that we have to go through. You know, so that's the kind of... Uh, book that I wrote and uh, it's, it, we sold a lot of them uh, in our country and it's on Amazon as well. And my YouTube page, we try to bring this kind of information as well because our problem is so much the darkness. It's not so much because Africa is dark, it's never true. Because we've been in Ghana, we built our own businesses without any connection on any further to you know, bring your money. But it's just the basic fundamental understanding of the reality, what you need to go through to build. you know. And that comes with the self-confidence. They believe in Africa and believe in yourself as an African that you're not cursed. Because you cannot succeed in a country that you don't believe in. And once you've been programmed not to look here, 
you will not be proud of what is here. And that's why most people will not see the opportunities here until they start to see you know, themselves and to see how blessed they are and how fortunate they are to come from the continent. And I think that much of it is just the Yeah. So um, somebody saying Perspective is a good book available on Amazon. So make sure you all check it out to Amazon and um, buy one of his books. I, I have the book and trust me, you will regret buying that book. Okay. Mr. Kwabena Obendaku, I wanted to thank you so much for sharing your experience with me and thanks for your time and definitely get to I know I've been seeing your messages by your boys like <laughs> all over the place, man. Uh, I have boy, a gift oh, for you. No, it's not, a, but we'll talk. Don't worry, we'll talk. No problem. <laughs> thank you for what you're doing. Thank you.